Hey, welcome to another video here. I wanted to show off some of the new features of Chili Pepper version 1.7 serial port JSON server. You can barely tell when you load the workspace now, but there's this tiny little V1.7 right there. But there is a lot of work that went behind that little V1.7. So it loads as normal, but I want to show you what happens over here when I just query my tiny g state. Notice a little checkbox. <clears throat> You've never had those there before. Um, and then there's this, even this little extra command after it putting the tiny g back in JSON mode. That's pretty important to make sure none of this stuff gets messed up. But I want to show you a little uh, something something. Let's say I pause the machine and then I send a uh, status. Uh, request. And notice it's yellow. We'll do another status request. We'll do a question mark. We'll do another status request. In fact, we'll even move the, um, the, the, the x-axis and then we'll move the x-axis to 1 and then move it back to 0. Now, let's, let's make some more room here. And let's watch her go. So now I'm going to, I'll run back over here and I will um, cycle start. So notice all those commands, they're all running now. But now, well, did it get chunked? Yeah, so notice all those commands are now in black. Um, so let's try to think if there's a command I can do that doesn't spit out a bunch of data. But that is generally what's happening now is that these little check marks are able to um, get data back. I'll show you where that comes from. So when you go into the pub sub for this widget to look, there are some new signals available on queue, on write, and on complete. There is also a new send method. Now the only widget using the send method right now is the serial port console, which is why these are like that. So um, the, the G code widget is going to get those quite soon, and you can see how these check marks will sort of mimic these, and you'll know exactly your execution state of your code. That really was the ultimate goal. And not only that, you'll be able to pivot off of um, these on complete statements to execute macros or custom code out of widgets. Uh, for instance, you know, turn a laser on here, turn a laser off there, that type of stuff. Um, so I will go back and just show show this uh, on Q on write on complete again. Um, but the JSON send, you know. What I could do here is I'll show you a quick little rundown. Notice that you can send in structured JSON. Uh, to do this a little bit better, I'm going to open up the um, Chili Pepper serial port workspace. I don't know if many of you use this, but it's a pretty cool little serial port interface. So I've got the same um, connection going. I don't even have to really do much here. And I will do a similar question mark. Uh, notice the commands, but now I'm going to do something a little bit unique. I'm going to um, I'm going to send multiple commands at once, and I've got some ready to go here. Oh, of course that happened. Let's see if I can change back. There we go. Um, let's pull this command in, and I'm going to paste it here. Probably a lot of you don't know that the serial port widget has this little show hide console. Um, that is available over in this view if you show hide console. It's just that you don't really need it in here, so you don't really need to play with it. Um, but it's the same. It's the same widget. Okay. So let's go back and show this console, and we will run this command and let's see what happens. So notice that you get a question mark, a tilde. Uh, and the status response, but let's go see why that is. Notice that I'm sending in on the correct port, COM22. That's figured out for you when you use the um, when you use the send JSON signal or the send signal. 
but I'm doing raw commands to the serial port JSON server in this view. You can't do raw commands over here. You can only send in loose commands um, uh, or sort of uh, commands layered on top of whatever port's picked. But down here, you're getting direct interaction with the API of serial port JSON server. So this is our data array, and it starts and ends here. And there's really two data commands going on this plus this. Notice each one has an ID now. Let's go up and look at what happens. When you send that in, you send that command in, you get back a queued, and it tells you how many queue items. And it's now showing you your array. And it's really just regurgitating your data. But you'll notice that we asked for an exclamation, a tilde, and then a new line. But it returned it as one data item. And the reason is that this item, it has to do no buffering on. So you'll see that it's a buffer type of no buff. And then this is um, a tilde, uh, which is its own command. Notice the ID actually got mangled. And that's a no buffer type, and then the, the file. So just there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, but once it writes the command, it will then also complete it. Notice there is a complete fake statement. There are complete and complete fakes. Those are normalized for you, but it's because the tiny g will not give a complete command back to us on that, so I have to mimic it round trip. Um, and ultimately, you get all your writes and done. So that's... That's kind of the skinny. Again, you don't need to go dive into any of this detail. Just start using things over here. We'll do uh, you know, one more little example. of. Uh, we'll pause it. We'll send in a question, another question, another question. And then we will, even at this point, we'll wipe it. And you'll never get completes on those because they got wiped. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy some of the new features of the serial port JSON server, even though you're probably not going to benefit from them too much yet until we get the G-code widget updated. Thanks.